Hey Sagittarius, it's Empress Rose here and welcome to your reading. These are general readings, so take what works, leave what doesn't. If I don't catch your storyline or your energy wave for this, uh, check your other major placements for some information. So we're going to start with the Oracle Mystical Moments deck for an intuitive vibe of where we're going. And we are grateful for the message we're about to receive on behalf of Sagittarius. Sagittarius, what have we got here? Anything else? Nope. Okay. Two is enough. I've been running a little long today because I don't know. I don't know. This week's readings for some reason I just Probably I repeat myself, I think, is what I do sometimes. So, uh, my home is my castle. So you've, you've got this whole, like, imaginary, amazing world back here. A lot of ideas, a lot of um, visions, a lot of dreams, a whole world uh, that you live in, and you want to share it. You're thinking about talking about it, sharing with somebody. You're ready to share. You've got extra. You'd be pouring from a full cup here because look, you've got all these towers, all these towers and turrets up here. And you'd like to share that with somebody. There's almost like a, a wedding-ish vibe here too. Just sharing a part of yourself and feeling ready to do that. It's been a long time coming. You've, 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 you've built this whole sort of castle, this whole thing up. And, um, and it's been a long time coming and a long time getting here. We've been working on this idea for a while, on something for a while. It could be an idea. It could be something in the real world. But you've been working on something for a while and you're, you're ready to share it now. And then you have Queen B, the most confusing card in the deck, in my opinion. Um, it's There's a lot of duality here. There's some um, sharp stinginess and some sweet honeyness. And there's, there's a looming, I want to say female figure, sort of a looming figure here um, that both nurtures and stings and, and there's some pain there. And we also have sort of like the birds and the bees vibe, a reproductive vibe. And we've got sort of a little bit of reproductive organs here and these bees about to cross pollinate. So we've got a couple different possibilities, storylines there um, for you to, for us to look, work with and play with. Um, Queen Bee always reminds me of, you know, those girls in high school that everyone called popular, but they're not actually popular there. I uh, just feared. That's all. No popularity going on. People don't actually like them. They're just scared of them. So. Um, and then waxing moon, the energy is gaining momentum. So you've already had a pretty good start on something and it's building to some sort of completion. So it's it's shortly after the the initial start. And um, we can see these, these mountains growing, not really growing, but you know, the mountains are growing uh, before us or appear to be growing. They're there, but we're growing closer to them. And then we have these birds taking flight. Um, so there's, there's a m building, a momentum, a momentum, gaining momentum. Um, so we've already started something here and we're just doing some sort of it's just growing. We're just on, we're on track and um, we're headed in the right direction. All right. All right, Sagittarius. This is your past, your present, your inner landscape. What's at issue? Your environment, your to-do list, and your possible outcome. Hmm. Fascinating. We've got a couple of people with this Three of Swords showing up here. But first, we're going to start off with your recent past, the Nine of Wands. This was Wounded Warrior. You did not want to keep fighting, but you did. You kept fighting, kept standing up for what you believed in, kept, kept going. Even though you were hurt, you were wounded, you still, the fight still needed to be fought. You still needed to continue standing your ground, continue holding on to what's yours. 
you still needed to to keep keep fighting for what you believed in um and that's been in your recent past you were the wounded warrior in your present situation we have this um three of swords this is even deeper wounds this is how deep your wounds went you, you were wounded and maybe you didn't even get a chance you had to keep fighting and you didn't get a chance to dress these wounds properly at the time so now we're dealing with this we're dealing with this three of swords these ideas these painful words and you've got entrance wounds and extra extrance wounds ex, <laughs> exit wounds and um and you've got I mean, there's just a lot of pain here. Um, just this open, wounded heart. Um, some, maybe some truths came in that were uncomfortable and, and painful. Maybe some painful words were said. But this is, this is what's going on in your present moment. Is this a lot of pain? Maybe that's what you're thinking of sharing here. But it does look like this queen bee had more stingers than honey so far. Um, so a lot of pain here, um, a lot of hurt, a lot of heartbreak, uh, in your inner landscape, you're just kind of hanging out. I don't think that you're doing a lot of internal work. Um, this is hanging out and letting things ripen, letting things grow, freeing yourself. It doesn't look like anything's happening to the, um, distant observer, but here you are, you're freeing yourself from some sort of place where you got trapped and stuck. So the, there's not a lot of activity externally, but all of our activity is internally. So maybe you're thinking about getting unstuck, thinking about freeing yourself from something, hoping to free yourself, hoping to leave this pain behind, I suspect, and free yourself. But it's not involving a lot of movement, a lot of, a lot of movement in your life. It's just this internal process as you sort of ripen and become ready to leave some of this pain behind and address these wounds and um and move forward at issue we have this four of wands so this is supposed to this is like was supposed to be a leveling up a, an engagement a wedding a job offer um something where you know we've laid the groundwork the soul work down here and this is another wands card so this has to do with intuition and creativity and we meant to level up we meant to have a wedding but we're not having a wedding nobody's singing um probably has something to do with this uh it's not it didn't move forward the way you expected it to move forward you didn't hit the milestones the way you wanted to you just um there's a lot of disappointment here and frustration about something not coming to fruition something not you know, being ready for market, something not, um, an engagement being called off. You know, I was getting real wedding vibes here, but this is like real, uh, pause, a pause on the, on the growth, a pause on the leveling up. This is like, it's like you just completed a level in a video game and instead of leveling up your um, whole system freezes and you're stuck there freezing um, in and you don't get to you don't get your next level what happened what happened how come how come that promotion you were promised didn't come through how come that you know and you were supposed to be recognized by an institution there was supposed to be a party there was supposed to be some sort of a joyous celebration and recognition for the milestones in life um and that just didn't happen and that's creating an issue for you um you didn't get to level up and then of course that would be heartbreaking um in your environment we have this empress vibe so the empress is very happy being single being alone she has what she needs she doesn't she nurtures from a full cup so this is very much this vibe too of this honey and this nurturing uh life-giving vibe and this was you know pouring from a full cup or giving something from a full cup so all around you you do have what you need including there's a self-confident vibe here there's a there's a um having the fruits having the fruits of your labors come come through so we don't have that here what's at issue but all around you maybe other people are are getting this um, you know they have what other people appear to have what they need uh, self-confidence and um, and and self-empowered and 
um, and just feeling really good about where they're at in life. And so that's in your environment, um, which is fascinating because you're in heartbreak land here, feeling a little trapped in heartbreak land, working on getting yourself free. And you were expecting some sort of reward, but it looks like people around you got rewards. People around you uh, got what they needed. There's something in your environment, though, about really having what you need. And this could be, this could also be like a therapist or a teacher or a mentor that's around you that's here to help you through some of this stuff. Um, but there's an empress in your environment that's um, ready and willing to nurture and help you through. And other people um, allow other people to pour from their full cups. So, um, so there's something around you or some, some vibe around you where, where there actually is, is, uh, what you need and some sort of confidence and some sort of self-confidence in your to-do list. We have this, uh, queen of wands energy. This is the energy you need to come into. This is, um, this is very intuitive, connected to the divine, a lot of patience, a lot of strength. This is getting in touch with your intuition. We have so many things about wands here, um, but both of them are, are hard, um, you know, um, having to defend your creative process or your intuition, having to continue fighting for what you believe in, not getting this leveling up. But then we want you to come into this queen of wands energy. So she's very, um, she's strong, she's intuitive, she's very creative, she's uh, connected to the universe, she's got a little familiar here, so maybe a little bit of getting in touch with some more uh, mystical um, uh, aspects uh, that you enjoy, but this is coming into your intuition and coming into um, a learning from this level of self-confidence. So this is, this is the empress and she's got her wands. She's the, the queen of queens. She's got everything under control. She's got her money under control and her emotions. She knows how to give and receive emotional connections um, without being completely thrown by them. She's got her intuition. Um, she's, uh, understands her truth, her perspective. She's very grounded. So this is a very grounded, grounded energy around you, a queen of Queens, uh, with lots of self-confidence and you're being asked to, to highlight the intuitive parts of yourself and the connection and your sort of third eye with this strength and this patience to grow into that and to, um, really grasp your intuition, really understand your, what it's trying to tell you and what the messages you're receiving sort of from the universe and from your emotional self. Um, but she's very confident in her intuition. Very intuitive, creative. That's the energy you need to come into contact with is, is, you are intuitive. You have, you have power, you have creativity. Um, and you're just, all you, all you're doing is sort of, um, sitting down and coming into contact with that and understanding that and, and having a vision. I think this is also about having a vision and having a vision often, um, involves intuitiveness because we're, you know, if we're, if we supply the vision, it's superimposed on reality, right? Our vision of what we want and what we can see happening um, is superimposed on, rea on reality. So becoming a visionary uh, and, um, and really envisioning what the future could look like, especially after this heartache and this pain and this disappointment of not, not leveling up the way you thought you were going to, um, you're being called to come into a new vision, come in to see something else and to see, to superimpose, um, what you want onto reality and sort of see it coming, coming to you and see it happening. And then a possible outcome that we have is this King of Cups. So this could be a person or this could be an energy that you end up embodying once you get in touch with your intuition and really start, start owning that and visioning, being a visionary here. We come into, um, and I love how we have, we have a king and queen here. So if you're looking at relationships, um, 
it's a very good sign uh, king of cups would be a lot of emotional intelligence um, there's been some sort of emotional upset here but um, but here we have we can handle the coming and going of our emotions and feelings so this is talking about how um, you know emotions come in and they can either rock us but this is a king so he's mastered them but not in a way where we're controlling our emotions and we're making sure we're feeling the correct things that we want to feel when we want to feel them no 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 this is about allowing those feelings to come through us and to bring us all this information I was kind of getting this vibe from her too this time is like part of intuition is allowing your feelings to come in and bring you information and then you use that information to make decisions so this is a king of cups and yeah there's this raging storm out at sea uh, this raging emotional storm all around him but he can handle it and he can handle he can let these feelings come let them go gets the information from them he can express his feelings confidently he's not trying to hide them or smash them or control them or control how other people see them or he doesn't channel them all into anger which is sort of like a little bit of what well it's what patriarchy sort of asks of men is that all of their emotions end up getting filtered through the one acceptable one the one that conveys supposedly power which is anger so this is a king that's worked all through that and is beyond that and feels much more feels the whole range not just the anger not just the socially acceptable um, feelings for for a typical male he is he has Matt he has grown beyond that and is now able to be in touch with all of his feelings and allow them all to rage including this hurt without getting angry you know without he can feel the hurt and feel the pain without it all just getting funneled into some other emotion like anger or some default socially acceptable emotion so that's what he's doing here he's got this that's that's a possible outcome is you're either meeting a very emotionally mature man full of love or you are becoming a very um, a king of emotions very emotionally stable emotionally and by emotionally stable we're talking of course about the emotions being part of our lives but not dictating and not being ignored but just being another source of information for where we're going and what we want to do here so a lot of emotional stability so it's so I think this is about the energy gaining momentum so it may you may feel stuck and look stuck okay but so the reason why you got this card the energy gaining momentum is this is a message that you need because you're feeling stuck internally you're feeling like you're not moving forward but things are changing you are moving forward it's just going to take a minute for you to unravel unknot this knot here and and let yourself out and let yourself down and let yourself uh be you know um, free from this pain and this this exhaustion that you experience with this nine of wands here so it's just taking a minute um, and you needed that um, to let you know that the energy even though we're we've just added a little sliver to our new moon it is gaining momentum and so you are you are growing you are changing you are getting in touch with your intuition you are becoming more emotionally mature and better able to handle this stuff you may not have gotten the recognition that you wanted for that um, you may not have you know gotten the the level up here but um, but this is here to let you know that you are you are growing and you are gaining you're making gains even though they're not incredibly obvious okay well Sagittarius I hope that that's helpful for you and thank you so much for your likes comments and subscribes I really appreciate it it's encouraging to me and it also helps this channel um, with visibility and helps other people find these messages too so thank you very much um, have a wonderful week Sagittarius